Hi, I'm Fred Morgenthal. Food, as you can imagine, is a pretty important part of my life. One of my passions when I'm at home is cooking. Throughout the years, I've had the opportunity to create and prepare many recipes. Some of the simplest, most inexpensive, and easy to prepare recipes have become my favorites. And I would like to share them with you. I call this recipe Beef Stroganoff Almost Homemade. Now you start with putting about a tablespoon of oil in a pan and about a, one pound and a quarter of steak. Now it can be ribeye steak or it can be New York strip, whatever's on sale at your local Harris Teeter. And I use Rancher brand. And the whole idea is to begin, this, begin to get this thing brown. So you're browning the steak up, and as that begins to brown, you add onion. You add about a half a cup of onion. So that's going to cook the onion and get the steak nice and brown. And this cooks for about five minutes. The whole idea is to not to overcook the beef because, frankly, you can be cooking the stroganoff for another 12 minutes after the beef is browned up, so you don't want the beef overcooked. Now throughout this recipe, I'm going to be using, I'm going to use the steak rather than the hamburger that's in the recipe. I'm going to use some red wine rather than the water that's in the recipe. You can uh, scale this recipe up or down really based on what you want to do. Uh, the red wine, for instance, uh, a lot of folks don't want to have wine in their, in their cooking because of the alcohol. Well, the, as we all know, if you cook wine for about 17 minutes, which is about how long it takes all, all together, that alcohol is going to cook out. Now, many of the recipes I do are based around using packaged dinners or something that comes from the grocery shelf. And the w reason I do that, like many of you, my wife and I both work. When we get home from work and we want something home cooked, we don't want to take the time to make it all the way from scratch. So I found that using dinners, and this is taking the uh, hamburger helper packaged dinner, using that as a base really speeds up the process. Uh, we've got this cooked now about, uh, about five minutes. It's browned up nicely, so we're gonna do the next step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the seasoning mix from the Hamburger Helper recipe. And this is Hamburger Helper Beef Stroganoff. And we're gonna mix that seasoning packet into the beef and the onions, and it almost forms a roux. The whole idea is to mix it in. And after that's uh, well mixed in with the, the beef and the onions, we're gonna add the red wine. And it's a third of a cup of red wine. I'm using Cabernet, but you can use whatever's in the house. You have Merlot in the house or any kind of good red table wine. That's just perfect. And we get that mixed in. Then we add a four ounce can of Harris Teeter Pieces and Stems mushrooms with the liquid inside of the can with it. Next, we're gonna add milk. And along with the milk, we add the noodles from the Hamburger Helper recipe. So we've now taken the Hamburger Helper package, we've enhanced it with steak, we've enhanced it with onions and with mushrooms, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Now until it gets to a boil, though, we wanna continually stir it, because the whole idea here is not let it stick to the bottom of the pan. Now we're just starting to get some bubbles going on, so we're reaching a boil. So I'm gonna turn it down to medium low, and we're gonna put a lid on it and let it sit for about eight minutes. So we've, uh, we've been cooking now eight minutes, and we're gonna stir one final time, and we've stirred this to about twice during the past eight minutes, and we're ready to add the sour cream. We've got three quarters of a cup of sour cream, and we are uh, gonna mix that in to the stroganoff. That's what's gonna give us the creamy texture. Uh, we're using light sour cream, and uh, I think that's the proper degree of richness. It still watches the calories some on this dish. Uh, you can feel free to use a regular sour cream. That does add a few calories, but uh, on the same token, it really, uh, it really helps the richness. And the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some salt and pepper in this and the pepper especially just really enhances the flavor and makes it an excellent dish. We're gonna stir this one more time and then we're gonna put a cover back on it 
and we're going to cook it for four more minutes. And we're getting close to having dinner. It's smelling great. You can smell the red wine cooking off. Uh, you can smell the sour cream adding the richness to it. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun dinner tonight. So we've, uh, we've now cooked this another four minutes, and it's ready to go. We uh, turn the oven off, and uh, we're now going to put it into a serving dish. You know, you can serve this from the pan itself onto the, uh, onto the plates, but that's, uh, that's not really going all the way. What you need to do is plate it up on a, and this is a nice white bowl, and I'm trying to not make a mess for my family, so I'm actually scooping it in one by one. But the, uh, the whole idea here is to get it in the plate without spilling it on the sides. And you've now got a great presentation for your family. I hope you enjoy my beef stroganoff, almost homemade recipe. And I hope you find this recipe a help in feeding your family very inexpensively. Thank you, and maybe I'll see you at my Harris Theater.